strategy across the 18 local government areas of the state ahead of the governorship election. Some leaders of the party spoke during the inauguration of the party's youth leaders for the November election. Senior reporter Ayodeji Muradio has the story. Ahead of the November 16 governorship election in Ondo State, youth leaders of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in the state, gathered here in Akure for their inauguration. They were drawn from the 18 local government areas of the state. Spread the gospel. Move from street to street. Speaking at the inauguration, a former chairman of the party in the state, Clement Faboyede, urged them to take the campaign to every corner of the state. He also stressed the need for the youths to work together as a team and shun unnecessary rancor. House to house campaign is the youth, is your category that has the energy, is your category that will benefit from it, is your category. That will rise up and say, Glory be to God, I have moved forward. In collaboration with all our youth leaders, from state level to local government level to world level. The state youth leader, Daudu Babatode, and others promised to take the campaign for their party's governorship candidate, Agbola Jai, to the grassroots. The world coordinators should come up with perfect names for the unit. And those people, what they are, what they will be doing is to engage. People every day, even at the markets, the the streets. What we want to do is that we want to we want to take our word to every unit, to every corner of the state. This movement is a very is a very grassroots movement. You see, people these are not big names, but these are people who know their onions and know what to do to give us victory in the next election. We are announcing these people together for our candidates. Uh, we have arranged people from the unit to the world. With less than three months to the election, these youths appear resolute to double their effort to ensure victory for the PDP in the state. And total stories. Now, the Forum of Nigeria Polytechnics Alumni Association has appealed to President Bola Tinumbu to sign the Polytechnic Anti Dichotomy Bill into law to enable graduates of polytechnics thrive in their careers. President of the Forum, Abba Damu, was speaking at the Forum's quarterly meeting held at the Oshun State Polytechnic. TVC News Refu Hamid reports. Seeking to end the discrimination of polytechnic graduates from their university counterparts in employment and promotion in the workplace has not been signed into law since 2021 when it was passed by the National Assembly. Here at the quarterly meeting of the Forum of Nigeria Polytechnic Alumni Association, Alumni presidents from several polytechnics are in attendance to discuss key issues affecting polytechnic education and formulate a workable plan of action to address them. Issues of pending anti dichotomy bill, establishment of polytechnic commission, and adequate funding of polytechnics top their discussion. The simplest thing is for us to be given our due regard, due recognition, remove this dichotomy. Form, I mean, establish the, the, the uh, Polytechnic Commission so that we can be able to pursue all our, you know, goals and objectives. What I'm trying to say here is that the Commission, when it is formed or when it is established, it will be able to do as other commissions are doing. Presently, you even have Colleges Education Commission. According to them, the yearnings for Nigerian technological advancement depends greatly on the strength of polytechnic and technical education. I want to appeal to the state uh, gov uh, governments too. They are not funding education as, uh, as they're supposed to fund it. If you get to some uh, polytechnics now, you see contrast now, contrast now. They have to employ people who can give impact knowledge. So all these contrast staff that are more than uh, uh, permanent staff. The idea of bringing somebody who has never been who has never worked in a polytechnic, who will come and start behaving like a regiment as a at least the federal polytechnic is off. The team had earlier paid a courtesy call on the Arabic of Arabic, seeking the support of traditional institutions to press on their demands. If we want to get it right, we need to encourage polytechnic education. 
We need to encourage graduates of polytechnics and bring them at par with other graduates in other institutions to stop discriminations. The country currently has 187 polytechnics. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Iray, Ocean State. And to Benue State, where the state government has asked key players in the education sector, traditional and religious institutions, to prioritize basic education for children. Commissioner for Education and Knowledge Management, Frederick Ikian, made the call at the meeting in Benue South Senatorial District. Mayowa Okuato reports. This is an awareness campaign by the Benue State Universal Basic Education Board to ensure free and quality education, a panacea for equipping future leaders to compete in the global job market. It's aimed at addressing the need to encourage parents to enroll their children for free education. The Ochi Doma, Israel Majesty Johnson Elaigu, receives briefing on the affairs of Benue policy on free education. He says this is the bedrock for building competitive leaders in the country. The best people that can take care of the resource person is human resources. When you take good care of the human resources, then the other resources will be taken care of. On that note, I'm happy to receive you. And on behalf of our council, we are welcome to you. But you don't know, the delegation proceeds to an expanded stakeholders meeting, various lectures on access to free education and the compulsory operation of nursery classes in all public schools by experts were delivered. The management of the board has made it mandatory that all functional primary schools have ECCD centers before the commencement of 2024-2025 academic session. This is a period of education that starts from zero to five years. The executive chairman of SUBE presents the current enrollment statistics and the need to catch in on government's policy on free education. We're here because we observe in this way that despite the efforts of the state and federal government to ensure that our bookings and our words gain access to free and education. The Zonsi Enrollment Awareness Campaign Drives ends with many parents enlightened about free education and operations of nursery classes in public schools, which the people celebrate with their cultural performances. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News.